let's summarize everything we know about GTA 6 so far and dive into a list of 50 things you can do in the upcoming game. First up, we have the instant character switch. Remember the long wait times in GTA 5 when switching between characters? Well, those days are over. In GTA 6, you'll be able to seamlessly switch between characters in a split second. I think this feature will add a whole new dynamic to the gameplay, don't you? Speaking of game changers, let's consider the shared inventory system. This means that items you pick up can be shared among characters. Each character will have their own inventory, as well as a shared one. This will add a layer of strategy to the game, as you'll need to decide which items to share and which to keep for individual characters. On the topic of inventory, there's another feature that's worth mentioning. Your inventory will be neatly organized into categories such as weapons, equipment, and gear. This is a feature that I personally loved in Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'm thrilled to see it making its way into GTA 6. It's going to make managing your inventory so much easier. And while we're on the subject of weapons, there's an important change in GTA 6 that you should know about. In GTA 6, we have weapon loadout limitations. You'll have a limited carrying capacity of four weapons. You can equip two small firearms or melee weapons in two slots for rifles or shotguns. Heavy artillery like rocket launchers and machine guns will occupy two slots. This is going to add a whole new level of strategic decision-making to your arsenal. What do you guys think about this? Do you prefer the freedom to carry as many weapons as you want? Or do you like the idea of having to choose your loadout carefully? But what if you need to carry more items? Well, GTA 6 has a solution for that. You'll be able to expand your carrying capacity by carrying a duffel bag. This will allow you to carry more items and be prepared for any situation. I think this is a great addition, as it adds a layer of realism to the game. After all, you can't realistically carry an arsenal of weapons and a ton of equipment without some sort of bag, right? Another feature that adds to the realism of the game is weapon interactions. In GTA 6, you'll have more control over your arsenal. You'll be able to pick up and drop weapons at will, allowing you to adapt to the ever-changing circumstances of your criminal activities. I think this will make the gameplay more dynamic and immersive. One feature that I'm particularly excited about is Enhanced Perception. With this feature, you'll be able to uncover hidden treasures using Eagle Eye, which highlights objects of interest or vital clues. This is a feature that I loved in the Red Dead Redemption series, and I'm excited to see how it will be implemented in GTA 6. But what about when the sun goes down and you're left in the dark? GTA 6 has you covered. No more blindly stumbling through dark alleys or buildings. With a functional flashlight, you'll be able to navigate through dark environments with ease. This small but significant feature will add to the realism of the game. Speaking of realism, let's discuss the resourceful inventory. Your inventory becomes a versatile hub as you carry items such as wine, fruit, and soda. These items will serve as a valuable source to replenish your health when needed. I think this is a great addition as it adds a layer of strategy to the game. You'll need to decide when to use these items and when to save them for later. But what happens when you get injured? Developers has thought of that too. In GTA 6, you'll be able to carry first aid kits, trauma kits, and prescription pills. This will allow you to address injuries and maintain your physical resilience. I think this is a fantastic addition as it adds a layer of realism and strategy to the game. What do you guys think? And if you thought that was all, wait until you hear about the extensive looting. You'll be able to explore a vast range of locations and individuals for valuable loot. The world of GTA 6 offers an extensive of array of opportunities to scavenge and acquire valuable resources. This feature will add a whole new level of exploration and discovery to the game. But it's not just about what you can do, it's also about who you meet along the way. You'll be able to interact with NPCs in various ways. You'll have the choice to greet them amicably, engage in a robbery, or unleash a melee attack. I think this will make the game more dynamic and immersive. It's going to be interesting to see how different NPCs react to different interactions. And speaking of interactions, let's talk about advanced vehicle hijacking. Advanced vehicle hijacking is going to revolutionize the way we seize control of vehicles in GTA 6. With methods like Immobilizer Bypass and the infamous Slim Jim tool, you'll be unlocking and taking over vehicles with precision and finesse. This is a feature I'm particularly excited about. But it's not just about the vehicles. There's a darker side to the game that's worth discussing. Handling bodies is a feature that adds a chilling layer of realism to the game. In GTA 6, you'll have the ability to carry and transport bodies. This is a feature that I think will add a whole new level of realism and immersion to the game. It's going to be interesting to see how this feature will will be implemented and how it will affect the gameplay. On a lighter note, let's talk about a feature that adds a touch of humor to the game. Throwing cans at unsuspecting NPCs is a quirky feature that's sure to bring a smile to your face. It's these little touches of humor that make the GTA series so enjoyable. 
I'm sure most of you remember the ability to pick up random objects in GTA 4. But the game isn't all fun and games. There are serious consequences to your actions. You'll have the option to surrender yourself to the authorities. This is a feature that I think will add a whole new level of realism to the game, because in GTA 5 we had to install mods to do such things. And speaking of law enforcement, let's talk about police pat-downs. In GTA 6, the police will be able to conduct comprehensive pat-downs on your character. This will definitely make the interactions with the police more dynamic. Moving on to a feature that will add a new level of strategy to the game. In GTA 6, you'll be able to assume a prone position. This will allow for tactical maneuvering and stealthy approaches. I think this is a fantastic addition, but it's not just about the gameplay. The game's graphics are also getting an upgrade. We'll have enhanced clothing detail. Your character's attire will showcase intricate details such as realistic wrinkles, dirt, and sweat. I think this is a great addition, as it will make the characters look more realistic and lifelike. And, speaking of appearance, let's talk about dynamic reactions. NPCs will react to your appearance and cleanliness. The level of cleanliness you maintain will influence the responses and interactions of the characters around you. I can't wait to see how different NPCs react to your character based on their appearance. And, there's another feature that allows you to express your style. Hat styling is a fun addition to GTA 6. You'll be able to wear your hat in various positions, allowing you to showcase your personal style. This is a small but significant feature that will make your character more unique. Going further, in GTA 6, you'll be able to explore the bustling cityscape in a whole new way by hopping on the metro train. I think this is a great addition, as it will add a new mode of transportation and a new way to explore the city. And speaking of exploration, let's talk about car customization. We have some exciting news for car enthusiasts. In GTA 6, you'll have extensive car customization options. From flashy paint jobs to performance enhancements, you'll be able to take your ride to the next level and stand out from the crowd in style. GTA 5 already has a pretty decent variety of customization options, but there's always room for improvement. Next, we have easy scores. In GTA 6, you'll be able to target easy scores like food trucks, clothing stores, and pawn shops for quick cash. But beware, not all scores are as easy as they seem. I think this is a great addition, as it will make the gameplay more engaging. Now let's talk about cop traps. In GTA 6, you'll encounter cunning cop traps strategically placed throughout the city. This is a feature that I think is a must-have, because GTA series still lacks of intensive police chases. But it's not all about the city. There's also the open road. Being on the run in a camper van will add a new layer of strategy and immersion to the game. You'll be able to evade the law while plotting your next move. This is a fantastic addition that I'm really looking forward to. And speaking of fun, let's talk about bubblegum machines. Bubblegum machines scattered throughout the city will add a touch of whimsy to the game. This is a fun and quirky feature that I think will add a touch of humor to the game. Next, we have solving mysteries. In GTA 6, you'll be able to embark on quests to find missing people. This is a feature that I think will add a whole new level of depth and immersion to the game. But it's not just about the mysteries, there's also the arsenal of destruction. The arsenal of destruction in GTA 6 is impressive. With an extensive array of weapons ranging from pistols and shotguns to heavy artillery, you'll have the right tools for any situation. This comprehensive list of firepower ensures that the gameplay will be exciting and intense. Moving on, you'll be able to equip yourself with an assortment of tools that will aid you in your criminal exploits. From lockpicks to hacking devices, this evolving list of tools promises versatility as you navigate diverse challenges that lie ahead. Next, we have social media. GTA 5 already features parodies of Facebook and Twitter called Life Invader and Bleeder. And in GTA 6, you'll be able to engage with another social media platform known as WhatUp, a clever spin on the popular messaging app WhatsApp. Now let's talk about the wind boat. In GTA 6, you'll be able to take to the water in style and experience the thrill of riding a wind boat. I think this is a fantastic addition as it adds a new mode of transportation and a new way to explore the game world. Next, we have aquatic exploration. In GTA 6, you'll be able to swim, surf, and scuba dive, allowing you to delve into hidden underwater treasures, uncover secret locations, and navigate challenging underwater environments. I'm really excited about all these features, but what we also need to make it even better is the realistic physics. Realistic physics in GTA 6 will make the game more realistic and immersive. The return to the ragdoll effect, reminiscent of GTA 4, where the laws of physics take center stage, is a great addition that I'm really looking forward to. Moving forward, we have Backyard Wrestling. In GTA 6, you'll be able to participate in wild and reckless matches, utilizing the environment and improvised weapons. I think this is a fun and exciting feature that will add a touch of chaos and unpredictability to the game. 
Now, let's talk about outsmarting surveillance. In GTA 6, you'll be able to strategically eliminate video surveillance to ensure your criminal activities go undetected. Next, we have the ability to work out and build muscle. In GTA 6, you'll be able to sculpt your physique and transform your character. I think this is a fantastic addition, as it will allow you to customize your character in a whole new way. And it's a great comeback of the feature from GTA San Andreas. Another feature which is making a comeback is that you'll be able to engage in rigorous training sessions and witness your character's physical appearance evolve. I think this is a great addition, as it will add a new layer of immersion to the game, which was missing in GTA 5. Let's not forget about fishing. In GTA 6, you'll be able to take a break from the chaos of the criminal life and embrace the serenity of fishing. I think this is a fantastic addition, as it will add a new activity to the game and a new way to relax and unwind. Switching gears, let's talk about miscellaneous weapons. In GTA 5, we were able to use golf clubs, baseball bats, and even golf balls as unconventional weapons. I think this is a fun, but hopefully GTA 6 will allow us to use even more interesting items to fight. Now let's talk about rabid dogs. In GTA 6, you'll need to navigate the streets with caution as you may come face to face with a ferocious and rabid dog. It kind of reminds me of dogs attacking us in GTA 5, but I'm pretty convinced that Rockstar will expand this feature. It would be interesting to get rabies from a dog, causing us to either quickly go for medicine or die. Next, we have robbers. In GTA 6, you'll need to keep a watchful eye as you explore the bustling streets as there is a chance of being targeted by robbers. It's an interesting addition, which I think I have never seen in the GTA games before and it will add a new layer of danger and unpredictability to the game. Moving on, you'll be able to experience the thrill of property ownership in GTA 6. It's another feature making a comeback from GTA San Andreas, as you'll be able to own multiple safe houses across the vast map. I think this is a fantastic addition, as this is another thing I really missed in GTA 5. Going further, we have enhanced drive-bys. In GTA 6, passengers will have an increased ability to engage in combat. We should be able to lean out the window with weapon in hand and more. Now, the dynamic relationships. I'm not sure how the Jason and Lucia relationship is going to work in GTA 6, but there were rumors that you'll be able to delve into the complex web of relationships with a dynamic system akin to the iconic girlfriend progress in San Andreas. Next we have his possibility of getting banned from stores. In GTA 6, if you engage in illicit activities, you may find yourself banned from stores including supermarkets and liquor stores. It kind of makes sense, right? Moving on, you'll be able to stuff bodies in your car's trunk. This is a feature that I think will add a whole new level of realism and immersion to the game. It's going to be interesting to see how this feature will be implemented and how it will affect the gameplay. Another feature is pawning items for cash. In GTA 6 leak, we've seen the pawn shop building. So probably you'll be able to discover hidden treasures scattered throughout the city and turn them into cold, hard cash at local pawn shops. I think this is a great addition, as there's never enough new ways to make money in the game. Now, let's talk about the untamed wilderness. As probably all of you already know, GTA 6 will take place in Vice City the fictional Miami, and you'll be able to explore the swamps where fearsome alligators lurk, and the dense forests inhabited by majestic bears. Next, we have golf. Similarly to GTA 5, in GTA 6, you'll be able to take a break from the chaos of the city and immerse yourself in the elegant sport of golf. I'm curious how many of you happen to play casual golf in GTA 5, let me know in the comments. Finally, we have the Florida Man. In GTA 6, you'll be able to embrace the chaotic spirit of a true Florida man and dive headfirst into bizarre and unconventional situations. I think this is a fantastic addition, because this game should definitely reflect the vibe of the location it is based on. And there you have it guys, those are 50 things you can do in the upcoming GTA 6. I'm really excited about these features, and I can't wait to see how they will be implemented in the game. But what about you? Which features are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more GTA content. Also, remember that all the information in this video were based on the leaked development GTA 6 videos, and many things may be different in the final release. I also want to give a special shout out to my patrons. Your support helps keep this channel going, and I can't thank you enough for that. Thanks for watching till the end. Have a great day, everyone, and see you in the next one.